podcast. Hey guys, welcome to the I Don't Get It podcast. Today it's a Rumble. 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 Lauren, you didn't sound very excited. <laughs> Um, sorry. Okay. She's excited to talk today. She said, she told oh, me. Oh, that's so great. Do you have a lot of things to ramble about? I'm sure I could figure things out along okay. the way. I feel like you do, Ashley, but uh, tell everyone who our guest is today. I'm very elated. We have a special guest this. rambler. I just picked her up. Just her name is Jade Roper Tolbert. Hello. Hello, beautiful. The icon. Hi. The icon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited that she was here because she was like talking about I don't get it's in the car. And I was like, hey, uh, can you save that? Shut your mouth (laughs) and save it. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so excited. I get to chat with y'all. I'm in Rhode Island. So nice. Doesn't feel like lovely there. How long are you there for, Jade? Uh, Three days. uh, Yeah. Three full days. Yeah. Well, like three and a half days. Uh, Yeah. Lauren. And have you been away from your kids Mm -hmm. that long, Jade? No, so I was in Dallas too. So I'll be away for eight days, which is the longest I've ever been away from the kids and the longest I've ever been away from Tanner. So it's weird. Oh my I'm God. like, I feel like a whole different person. It's really weird. Eight days is a long time. It's like you're just you again. Does it feel weird? Do you feel like I you're know. back to being yourself or do you just feel like you don't even know what to do? No, I actually have been really enjoying it because, okay. and I've been trying not to feel guilty about that because yeah. it's been so nice because. <laughs> hell yeah please sleep in as long as possible and don't listen to dawson crying and just like sleep. 1000 <laughs> percent. No, yeah. no no it's totally different when i have like a non-mom friend visiting mm-hmm. versus when i have a mom friend listening like i want to pamper jade Aww. um and then when lizzie's here i'm like <laughs> lizzie, <laughs> lizzie? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious lizzie was so awesome the feminist liz she was amazing okay we went she basically was like i want to come and like partially babysit and partially hang out with you like she was like i want to like give you a treat which is kind of what i want to do with jade but she was like um she babysat for dawson one night and jared and i went to dinner and we came home from dinner she cleaned up the entire house wow amazing Isn't that insane? it's very it's not nice. insane i would do that <laughs> oh it was so nice like so yeah so that's nice. very nice anyway okay fine. i feel like whenever ashley says that it's she's just calling me up for not cleaning the house what? my baby no. i feel like you go above and beyond and like do i don't know isn't that what friends do like help each you know like do the dishes when you're at someone's house pick up i feel like that's no, I think you like clean up after yourself you don't clean up after the people oh i i feel like you clean up other people's stuff yeah no, that's very don't. nice of you you want to come over yes, do. do you want to come to my halloween party yeah you think- absolutely <laughs> i'm gonna start a fight <laughs> wait you're telling me you go to somebody else's house mm-hmm. and you clean up their stuff well it's also not like like nats has many opportunities to like sit alone she's not like sitting alone in someone else's house yeah but like if i'm alone i'll like organize something or i'll do the dishes or you know i'll do something if i'm someone's letting me stay there that's nice okay i guess i just the only people's house i've ever stayed at was jade's (laughs) (laughs) it's so true though there you go yeah as far as friend goes i i i've never stayed over at really anybody else's house but yours and I would never let you do the dishes because you're my guest. I'd be like, no, you relax. Like but now I feel bad. No, I would never <laughs> expect that from you. Yeah, most people don't, which is when you don't. But I'm saying if I don't know, I feel like it's nice to like help people out if yeah. they're letting you stay think, with you in like, some way or or you pick up dinner or something, yeah. you know, especially yeah. a new mom. Right. Because mm-hmm. the, I, I get that. Like, yeah, you, you were your new mom. And so yeah. she was just like, that's her way of showing yeah. her love for you. You know, so I think sweet, also yeah. the house was kind of like still in moving in phase. Well, that's why so it was kind of so like, appreciative. Yeah. There's still like random shit oh, everywhere. So nice. Yeah. So she Go would, like, Lizzie. That's she, like, very piled kind. the random shit where there was like in, in like spots where everything just seemed like it was easier to tackle. That's what I want to do when it's like moving shit or there's a lot of stuff. I just want to create piles and make a living space a living space and like fuck with that shit later. And Ashley yeah. will kind of like leave it all everywhere. I'm like, just put it in a corner. Just put it in a put corner. Put it in a corner. I would do that selfishly for my OCD. There you it's go. So yeah, that's what to it is. Organize. All okay. right. Well, before we got on Feminist Lizzie um, discussion or whatever, Nat, whoa, words. Jade came in hot with a fantastic, I don't get it. Jade looking good at the airport or not looking good at the airport? Oh, I never look good at the airport. Like, 
that is the moment where you shouldn't even care, right? Because you just feel disgusting <laughs> on a plane. You feel gross when you get off a plane. Like, why would you even bother trying to look good to go on a plane? Those people are weird. So I... That's me! I, am a I love... I want to look good yeah. on a plane. <gasps> or, ahead, or, or train or anything. Like, I'll put, like, a pretty almost full face of makeup on because only like really if I'm traveling alone or maybe if I'm also traveling with Hunter, but, um, I want people, if I need help, I want to be more like, Oh, I want to help her. Not like some scroungy, gross <laughs> sweatpants girl who looks like a zombie. Yeah, I want to be like, she's a, not being, helped. I want to be like a hot girl. So like maybe people would be more out to help me if I need help. I could romanticize a train, right? Like, you know, okay, getting yeah. ready on a, like to go I on can, a train, but the plane, um, I, I can I get down. I'm, getting ready for the train. I'm not getting, I'm not getting ready. No, heck no. That's so funny. I can't believe you guys, you don't wear jeans on the plane. And first off, where's our plane sound? What? Enter the plane sound now. I would argue that wearing jeans is not like looking cute anymore. Like you're not throwing on jeans and looking cute. Jeans is more like you wear an oversized tee and you're kind of just casual and chilling. It's not like trying, I feel like. Okay. Right. But Respect. I will say, so I'm getting on a plane tomorrow. I'm wearing a full-on Banana Republic vest and rider boots and my combat boots for a 6 a.m. flight. I love getting dressed up to go on a plane. And it's. I think it's partially because I'm single, but also because I just like looking really presentable and like try. I think travel fashion is so fun. I just want people to be nicer to me, and I feel like they're nicer to people who look better. I don't know. You're also more likely to get upgraded. And my energy is don't talk to me, so maybe that's why. See, my energy is don't talk to me too. Yeah. Like I really don't want you to talk to me, and I feel like if yeah. you do look cute, people will like. I, especially for you, that's you're like funny. trying to get a guy to talk to you, and I'm yeah. like. Although no. I had this 55 year old guy on the plane, like. Ask me three times to sit next to him. <gasps> no, Ew, yes. girl. You've never well, I would to I would ask Jade less. that too. Wait, oh. Jade, what did you say three times? So, <laughs> what did you say the a, first, second, he was and in third the time? First, very first aisle. So you have like extra leg room, you know. But then you can't put your purse underneath a seat in front of you. But I was just standing there while other people were getting ready to 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 sit down, and he's there, and he kept he wanted me to sit in the middle seat next to him, and he was he kept going, come on, come on. Jade! Just sit here. He's like, look, extra oh. leg room. And I was like, no, that's okay. No. I'm okay. okay. He's saying, I'm going to talk to you the entire flight. Yes. Oh, I, um, oh, that is so, I was like, why is this so happening? That's so putting Oh, that's disgusting. Men, like older men, they don't get like the world we live in now. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've spoken to so, cause I'm really nice. And so I'll conversate with anyone if someone starts conversating with me. I can't tell you guys how many times they have like in conversation touched me, like on my shoulder, or, like, pat and I'm immediately like, I don't know you. Yeah. Like, and I'm being nice. So like, don't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, I know. They think they're doing the nice thing, but we have these yeah. new little um, nuances, I guess, that are like, red flags kind of yeah it, it's it was totally creepy vibes can Ooh. i i'm sorry i gotta go back to the makeup on a train i can respect if you guys want to wear makeup like a well a put together outfit that's fine but like i'm not not wearing makeup on a train or a plane like there's just no way it's mostly the plane and mostly the fact that my skin is going to get so dry and so cracky and i'm putting it on putting makeup on a tired cracky dry face well i feel no. like you have you have like you you don't need to cover like circles in your eyes. Like you don't have circles. Yeah, that's what it is. What it's it under is. eye circles. If I, and if I had yeah. no under eye circles, I would be like, Same. fuck it. But I, I really look like someone who has been up for like a week straight. If I don't wear makeup. hundred yeah. percent. Lord, I couldn't agree more. And I feel like for early flights, like I'm on an early one tomorrow. I won't, I'll wear my cool outfit and sunglasses. I won't wear makeup. Okay. But if it was like a later flight, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. one, like a one to 6 PM, yes. then I'm going to put a little, maybe like Armani luminous silk, like a very light foundation to cover up my under eyes. Under eyes. That's then under a eyes. little mascara. And maybe have a drink but at no, the bar like, waiting face. for the man to come to you. No. Yeah. There's literally <laughs> only men at sports bars watching TV and getting too drunk too early at the airport, I think. I don't know if we're going to find someone magical there. I. It's not even for that. It just makes me feel like fun and good. Yeah. And it makes me like excited for where I'm going. Lauren, you're like so weird right now because you are a miss. I don't want to get cracky, dry makeup all settled in my lines and like accentuate my every flaw because if the makeup can't be perfect 
My what are you doing? under eye bags have exceeded my need for non cracky <laughs> foundation. Okay, really? <laughs> yes, because I think about getting on a plane and then like I have the beauty fine filter when I get so on the plane. high up on this motherfucker you can't even see. Same. <laughs> Same. If I took it off, this would be purple. Yeah, yeah. It would literally be purple under my eyes. That's so okay, funny. All right, Wait, fine. I'm so. Can I? Can confused. I bring up a different topic? Yeah, or, yeah. Or is, I, I, pro- I probably shouldn't. I probably should stop talking about this because I'm so mind boggled about makeup on a plane for like long flights. Maybe if it's like an hour, sure. But like getting on a like a cross country flight with makeup on, and then I'm gonna put my my face against everything. I'm going to break out and oh, I don't like it. Like a skin nightmare. It's a skin nightmare. To Spoken me. like a true married woman with a kid. Okay. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Do you ever like have to prepare yourself basically for figuring out a problem? You're like, oh my God, that is like, I don't want to think about it right now. Right? Of course. Mm-hmm. What's interesting is that that's actually a thing, that problem solving mode. It can be really... Um, it can affect your life, right? And therapists can help you become a better problem solver. They can make it easier for you to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Like, even if they're small, like, you don't even know how to, like, tackle, like, a regular, like, daily routine. Mm-hmm. They can help with that. That's actually very your- true because sometimes, like, I'll have, like, um, a, what, a problem, whatever, and I'll be like, oh, you know what? I have therapy on Thursday. I'm going to just compartmentalize that honestly. So I can get throughout my two days of working and then deal with it Thursday. And then that makes it so you're not like having these overwhelming um, thoughts when you're trying to get other things done. So you can just deal with that at a time with your therapist. I love that you guys brought this up because it's actually a conversation I've had with my therapist where I've gotten better at not just ruminating on a problem, but taking action. Mm. And I feel like I would take so long like thinking about something and it would take up so much of my energy. Yeah. So I feel like you guys made such great points. It's like you can save so much time, energy, suffering by trying out therapy. So if you guys have never tried out therapy or you do love therapy and you're looking for something more affordable and convenient, BetterHelp is just the place to go. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash get it today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, dot com slash get it. Okay. So recently I saw the film Striptease starring Demi Moore. Have you guys seen this movie? I had no, never seen never it. Never heard of it. I have never seen it. I've no, heard of it. I've oh, you guys it. have never seen no. it? Okay. So it's a horrible movie. Like the plot is horrible, but Demi Moore plays this stripper in Florida. I like love Florida movies. Cause like I'm from Florida and, um, she, it, the plot's horrible. She's like trying to get custody of her kid, but there's multiple scenes where her body is banging mm. and like the strips, like the strips that she does are so mesmerizing. Like I was like, this is such a cool, like eighties, nineties movie. And the music's so good. The soundtrack is like to Annie Lennox. And it is, I haven't stopped thinking about it. Oh, it's one of those movies that lingers. Right? It has made me, because the whole time watching her, I was like, I want like this, the stripper confidence. (laughs) I think you have like the stripper confidence. Yeah, I know. Like (laughs) .com slash get it. Mm Mm-hmm where you're you just always feel that way and it is made i'm so happy jade's on this podcast because you know the whole like playboy thing i just i love i like love that part about you i think it's so cool it's so sexy it's so like here i am and i've been thinking about taking pole dancing Fuck class. Yes. you should do it <laughs> absolutely so what do you guys think about that have you ever taken a pole dancing class i've never done it but i'm like it would i think i need to dance and like feel sexy and if you watch this movie you guys will know exactly what i mean because demi more obviously she's stunning but she just has this way about her where i'm like i have this within me but i i don't use it and i don't act like this i like act more insecure than i do this way does that make sense no yeah i think you should do it i think that you could like unleash like a different side of your like femininity that's sensual. I think I think pole dancing doesn't have to be like it's just like for men to view. It's about you and feeling your body and your your sensuality and expressing that. So I say go for it. I did belly dancing classes um, in college and I loved it. 
I love it. Wait, that's so yeah. cool. Do you belly dance now? No. That's exactly what I want to do. I, I want to like tap into my feminine. Classes. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, Ashley, you would be such a good, you, you have the belly dancing look. <laughs> I would take it. Um, I also wanted to do the pole dancing class. I remember Lauren and I were trying to sign up for them in LA. I don't know why we never went yeah. forward with it. But those have you guys? So you guys have never done one? No, never we done have done one. the rope thing though, like the pink stuff, like when you do like a rope. Aerials, aerials. Aerial. Oh, the aerial 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 aerial. aerobics. Yeah. It's yeah. so hard, and it hurts your feet so much because you put, like all your weight is on the arch of your foot. I was gonna say, um, like pole dancing is supposed to be a great workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be amazing because you do it like in heels, and I bet it's so hard. But I more want to do it for the dance stuff. Like I don't really care about like, like going like, upside down, work around the pole. Yeah, it's like I just yeah. want to like I don't know. Do you guys it sounds ever... like so cool. The most Jersey thing ever. But <laughs> my mom's my mom's hairdresser, Poor Florida uh, thing. Yeah, my mom's hairdresser. <laughs> she does pole dance, and she lost thirty pounds. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just We've like, had strippers on the podcast before, yeah, right? Yeah. Didn't we have? Yeah. But we have, we never talked about the dancing and sensual part of it. Did we yeah, dive Yeah, sure we that? did. Yeah, yeah, we did. A little. I know that this okay. would bring out like my trauma with Lauren, the way that Lauren like has always told me, Jade, she's always been like, Ashley, oh my God, so awkward. So gross. You're so, I can't do it. Oh my God. Ashley, so I'm gross. Sorry and then like, trauma and then for you. I'm she, just being a sister saying, oh my God, so awkward. Like, so awkward. Obviously so watching like, your sibling be sexy is awkward. It's not yeah. like a normal thing to be like, yes, you grind that pole. Like, <laughs> been one way towards me which is why i've always found myself to be the least sexy most okay, awkward in those just situations. do it i'm sure jared would love it i'm sure he probably would but like also i probably could just never not be like i could just never just let myself do it because i'd be actually like, that's Lauren exactly how oh <laughs> but gosh. that's how i feel and i don't know i didn't have a sister to do that to me and i don't know why like i was dancing around to the song one of the songs demi Moore dances in she has a blow dryer in her hair and she's like dancing around her room and sometimes i'll dance in my house right when no one's watching but even by myself when no one's watching i'm like there's moments where i'm like oh i feel so silly right <laughs> And I'm like, what is this shame? What is this like? Where, where, what is this? Like, why can't I just be that girl in a movie that's dancing around and it doesn't matter? Anyways, I'm working on it and I'm, I'm learning the dance now. So, so I'll, I'll report back. Wait, okay. Jay, do you get like this? Like, if like you're supposed to be like bedroom sexy, are you able to fully lean in and not be self conscious? Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm fine with that. I don't yeah. know why. That's yeah. Great. AKA oh, Jade, so are you jealous. a freak in the sheets? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, not, not, not after three kids. Yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe like a long time ago. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, I feel not like my hormones don't let me. See, exactly. Oh, <laughs> damn. No, but now no, Lauren's probably like used to let her too, but I feel like now Lauren's like not once in a committed relationship. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been married not, almost not seven years. It's not thrilling, I suppose, but right. you know. So it's like how do, it's like Justin Timberlake. Like we need to get our sexy back. How does one get their sexy back once in a relationship you, or with kids or single? You take pole dancing I lessons. I was looking up um, uh, what's not pheromones? What uh, aphrodisiacs? I was like, oh my god, my dad's in the fucking next room. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking. Well, while like, while I was in Italy, I, I was looking up aphrodisiac food so we could actually have good sex. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want to eat. The you didn't want to eat oysters. Oysters. Oh, yeah. why? Oysters are the fucking no, best you, meal people ever. People either love oysters or hate oysters. I think they're repulsive. What do you think? Oh, that's so like weird. Oysters. Yeah. But I have to have like... Actually, um, that's weird. You're so northeast. Tabasco on them. Tabasco. Yeah. yeah it's, you need like all the sauce. conduit for Tabasco. Um, yeah. 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 Onion person. mignonette. The yeah, horseradish and like whatever. Sauerkraut. Mm-hmm. Whatever. You should try um, hor- horny goat weed. There's a, th- there's a herb called horny goat weed, literally. And it's supposed Whoa. to increase your libido. You, I'm going to need you to you, try that first. You take it like, <laughs> you take it like 45 minutes before you... Get your freak oh, okay. on. Okay. Wait, where where do you buy this? Is this on Amazon? You could, Horny goat weed. Whole Foods? I don't know. <laughs> Probably Whole Foods. This, I, this podcast is sponsored by... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, wait, so what do you guys do to feel sexy? Well, wait. First off, um, I wanted to... I, there was this girl um, who I was recently talking to, and she said that like her doctor, when she brought up the hormonal problem, <laughs> she was like, when you're in a long-term relationship... Um, you need to basically have foreplay for like 30 minutes for the girl mm, to like get yeah. turned on. 
What do you mean? Any wo- any woman needs like thirty minutes seems like a long time to turn on. But she said, like in a committed what? relationship, it takes that long. Like, that just sounds difference. exhausting. Yeah. Ashley, that's not a long time at all. You have to start minutes. getting horny like the morning of <laughs> when you know something. Naz, I feel like you turn on very fast. No, any woman, it take that is like the biggest stigma thing in this country. That's like horrible. Where we're not men. We don't. You don't plug in the blender and press a button and it's on. It's like any woman needs. You have to start thinking about it like the morning you wake up to get your pussy and vagina mm, ready for yeah. it. I thought and that then you got ready. You, you have always to like, have said that like you've never had any libido issues. You've like, you've never I've never had, said like, I've never had libido issues. No, but you're like you get so excited. You like like love it. I love sex, but it doesn't mean I've had pleasurable sexual experiences with men and that they know what to do or I know like what feels good on me and all that stuff. And you need, it's like you have to turn yourself on in a way too. Mm -hmm. That's true. That I totally understand. It takes a long time though. That's what I hate. I hate when people think like they're broken and it's like right away. You need foreplay. Yeah. Well, one thousand percent. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm yeah. like running through every like experience in my entire. Well, because it's when you get in a bed with someone and they're like, "All right, let's do it," and then you're not wet and you Ugh. feel bad about yourself. It's like that's you shouldn't. You can't just like turn yeah. on like that. Always just work. start off with a massage. I think. <laughs> I don't think Jared's ever given me a massage. Well, that's like, it. Could be any. It's like to be like this. He goes like this. Oh, he goes, sucks. Nice. Oh, Tanner's Good. terrible at massages. <laughs> yeah, they hurt. You, oh you my mean, god. Yeah, they like love to dig. <laughs> They love to dig. They do. They love to dig in there like it's a sports massage. Like, Ash, I feel like for you, you could like put on underwear and heels and turn on like a 90s soundtrack because that's like <laughs> how you get. No, I, I feel so like true. that would work for you and like play in the mirror or do a dance or, you know, it's like you can figure out your own way to like help yourself feel that, you know? 100%. And I know this from firsthand experience. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what what do you know from first time experience? I do said like that? trying to warm yourself up yourself as far as like you looking at yourself in the mirror and like being like my hair and makeup looks really good, my lingerie looks good, like my body looks good. Yeah. And, like being mm-hmm. like, ah, I would think myself was hot right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah if I myself. was my husband, I'd be pleased. <laughs> you get turned on by yourself. I wish I could do that. I am working on doing that without makeup and all that shit. Oh well that's mm, nice. That's I very can't difficult. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> 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 i know which is horrible though yeah i think uh anyway yeah i can't believe you're having this conversation with dad uh there um oh yeah i'm i'm being more quiet than i would if i was not next to dad 1, wait so how was italy then for both you guys actually yeah, oh it was very nice great times good times the it wedding was your first was time perfect. away from dawson it was not my first time away from dawson, I've been away from dawson. no but like for a while right or no mm, we no you guys went to we went paradise. to paradise so yeah, but we I said that that was that. a little different because like he wasn't so like much he was four months at the time so he was like a little less like acknowledging of everything mm-hmm. um he didn't like care who he was being taken care of i feel like at four months you yeah, know? i mean they don't understand time yeah you know? it's like not a concept that yeah. they grasp so. right so yeah. they were like oh whoa i I'm never thought about that of, which they're fine, like how long but... has she been gone i don't know but how long <laughs> yeah. do you think that they like when do they realize that i don't think they ever realize that when do we wait when do we? i mean obviously the they begin to realize that but emmy knows for sure oh one thousand yeah. percent but yeah. i feel like probably after like a year and a half i don't know like, like, at what age are we like, like oh, damn, she's been gone a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's um, probably like, that's hilarious. Probably do animals know the concept of time? I think so. Yeah. They, they apparently say, I don't. They, know. they say they don't. And yet they, they do. They 1000% do. 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 I think they know daytime, nighttime, morning and stuff. But I don't think, do you think the passing the of time knows that it's been four years? They yes. know it's the pa- They know the passing of time. Yesterday when we came home and picked up Lois, she, she's like, holy crap, running around in circles, peed everywhere. Going totally away different. for a day. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, good to see you. And then if it's been like four days, they'll like cry and pee yeah. themselves. So like, yeah. they know. Yeah, like dogs definitely feel it. Yeah, yeah I don't sure. know about cats. I don't know them. And I don't know about squirrels <laughs> and ass, but... <laughs> I don't know about cats. But I think dogs That's the title of the episode. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know cats, about squirrels, I don't know them. Naz. I don't know. No, I don't know about cats. Jade, what about horses? Them. Since you're a horse girl, 
Um, ho- no, I know that horses are sensitive <laughs> and can sense them. Oh, Jade, you asked Jade, right? Jade. Uh, why did I start <laughs> answering <laughs> that? Because I'm not used to Jade being here, and so I was like, oh, I've no, I've been but you're the designated that- horse girl, and Jade's not here. Oh my god, yeah, we Jade. talked about you being the horse girl of our friends. Oh, how funny! On like this thing, because like there's like an urban dictionary thing now that you can oh. be like horse girl. No, really? it's like a different Jade. kind yeah. of like. I'm a horse girl. Yeah, Jade. Like, let me tell you, we we talked about you being horse girl because it started off with friends that never have their nails done. I never <laughs> have my nails done. <laughs> and we're like, wait, Jay never has her nails no. done and she loves horses. She's a horse but girl. I've That's never amazing. had my nails done because I have this like freak like thing that I always feel like if I get my nails done, there's going to be baby poop particles under my nails. And 1,000%. Oh. Fact. So yeah, that I, is you, I, once my kids are out of diapers, then I might like actually consider going and getting a manicure. But right now, I'm just like, my, I just like deal with baby poop all day. And yeah, I feel like I'd have to really, really wash like my hands extra yeah. to get the that's, poop out underneath uh, them. That's why I say the Kardashians are just are proof, walking proof that they don't change diapers. Oh, probably not. Yeah. No. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, so I know I'm single because under my nails is all chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like constantly like, oh, there's a piece of chocolate yep. in there from yesterday. Yep. That's hilarious. Okay, Hopefully so it's chocolate. Naz, Ew. the wedding was beautiful. It was great. It, like it could not be like more like romantic, soft, um, like elegant, uh, Italian. Just the venue wonderful. was so beautiful yeah. and old that you didn't really need any decor. Really, like anyone could have gotten married at any time. It would have been just perfect. Yeah. So pretty. all you needed. Wait, was but how candles. was your time in Italy? Our time was. Oh my gosh, no way. Did Jared get that leather jacket? Jared got, got the, leather the leather jacket. And then, of course, I go, Lauren, Jared bought it. And then she goes, doesn't he have something exactly like that? And answer me. He does. does. Um, he definitely does, but he says it doesn't like the fit on him. And I don't like it as much either. It's like more of a navy tint. Ew. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Um, okay, so good. Jared got a leather jacket. Naz, we, I am have been assign the job of getting jared a new wardrobe because he has nothing and if you have any input please send it over i went to a store with jared what's banana republic right was it banana or j crew or some store that sent me and everything banana i republic. had him try on he doesn't like i think he's just a creature of habit he doesn't want to be the fashion guy which is such a it's so sad because he has such a figure and face for it. He does. <laughs> he does. You know, he really does like, have the face for fashion. He does look, his face looks his best when he is in a really nice trendy outfit. And it's like, well, every man looks way. He is the epitome of like a house on selling sunset. Like these people have so much money and the decoration <laughs> inside is gross. <laughs> it's like no taste. Everything is so tacky. And it's like, what a waste. Yeah. My, I was looking at him today and, I, and I'm like the worst person to talk because yes, I can dress up nice too. But like how many times a week do I actually put an outfit on? Probably like twice. Right. And he, I, I looked at him today and I was like, Man, he wears he doesn't wear anything but sweatshirts. It's just a black sweatshirt every single day. It's just like his uniform. Black sweatshirt. Yeah. Sometimes you know it's tanner. It's comfy. Yeah, I was gonna say tanner is the king of like yeah, Kansas Tanner's City. Tanner's just merch. basketball shorts and seven year old <laughs> see through tank tops. It's all yeah. tank tops. When I think of Tanner, I think tank tops. They're so old here. Because they've been worn so much. <laughs> Yes, because I've been watching. A tank so top much. reminds me of tank top reminds me of like an eighty year old Jewish man running through Miami, Florida <laughs> With on his chest blades. hair. Like that's out. what I think of. Uh, tank top. Y'all, they're still tank tops from Paradise. Naz, you probably would know them. Like they're so yeah. old. He that's he so would old. also look so nice, like dressed up. He looks so nice dressed up. Like but like he, a, yeah, Tanner's like a, so like handsome. Tanner's not going with, anywhere. Like, you know, sweat. like oh yeah, he looks yeah. so good. I bought him some nice Tanner- things a while ago. He just won't wear them. He's so handsome and he's someone, it's so ironic his name's Tanner because he really does hold a tan mm. so well. Yeah, he does. Like he's like a tan man, he is. you know? He's Sicilian. And when you're, there you yeah. go. It's so, yeah. now I'm annoyed because yeah, Lauren, if you were to go buy him like a full-blown wardrobe, he would, he would never wear yeah, it. Yeah, see, they would, they don't even wear it. No. That's the oh problem. Oh my God, I just had the best idea ever. You get rid of Should all the rest of the clothes in the tell closet. anyone about it? Wait, I think we I think I can actually assist in making this happen if you were down. We should get Jared on Queer Eye. <laughs> Just have them yeah. throw it out. Well, he does amazing. need to help groom because you know he always has the nose Dude, hairs coming wouldn't out. Wouldn't that be amazing if there was an episode of Queer Eye? <laughs> yes. That would be amazing. I'm, we could yes. text, we could text. 
They'd be like, Jonathan. how often do you wash your hair every two weeks? How often do you trim your nose hair? Never. Like, it would be amazing. <laughs> they would turn him they, into literal Prince Charming from Cinderella. Yeah. They'd be like, he I doesn't have that, that much show. to get done. He just needs to be kept. Come, he he's probably listening dancing to spa. right now. What he needs is just to like make grooming himself more of a habit mm-hmm. because like he also takes pride in being a little bit gross. Mm-hmm. Like he thinks that he's more manly <laughs> by not like yeah, by like needs- not getting rid of like his facial hair in certain spots and like not caring. Right. That's yeah. so like that's very something common. ingrained in him from like youth. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's. Do you think if you guys, if you and Jade started dressing up, do you think Tanner and Jared would like mm. notice and follow and be like, they oh, I should follow? Dress- oh, no. no. When we still go out and I get dressed up, he's not dressed up. Oh, 1000%. People say that on. What? Yeah. People like say that on like my Instagram comments and stuff sometimes. They'll be like, Ashley looks so nice all the time and Jared looks like he didn't put any effort in. <laughs> Wait, looks like what? He didn't like put any effort in. Oh. Wait, that's so sad. People oh my god, say- he's coming up the stairs. <laughs> no, he's gonna oh, say fuck. things. No. He's gonna be so pissed. Oh, he hasn't been listening. This is okay, bad. Good. This is I feel mean. This is like a oh, we're, so we're joking about just like um husbands <laughs> uh, we were talking about how okay how you know, Tanner how wears lauren the same wants, shirt say about lauren wants to get like you a whole new wardrobe because like you would look really nice if you wore like nice model clothes like you know what i mean are you saying like, i don't dress well <laughs> yeah no, i just want to tailor i want to see you like a turtleneck yeah. and like a blazer I mean, or something she, she wants you to wear like a turtleneck. i don't want to talk to her but she will i want you to like she naz sent me this banana republic Listen. corduroy jacket that would look so yeah, great that would look on look so good yeah. of course when i go out i would love to wear nice things we don't go out much but we do go out one every saturday night almost it feels like yeah now we're starting to get there yeah right, so, so now like, i will start getting nice clothing anyway you guys go back i have to wait jared yay it works i don't know so also because it's because Coming fall and, and winter, uh, he's gonna be able to dress better. Yeah, That's true, winter, yeah. But like jackets. layers and yeah. layers. Yeah, guys, you need layers. layers. I need layers, guys. That's why I got the leather jacket. So. <laughs> Everyone looks better in fall. I'm going to New York this yeah. month and I cannot wait because the whole city looks like Paris. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone, everyone looks, looks so, so chic good. in a trench, yeah. in a scarf. It's sweat it's sweat fall sweat the time. That's the worst part about living in California. You can't wear fall fashion without yeah. sweating your butt off. So true. It's you gotta go at night. You gotta go up past like Seven, and then you can wear layers. And Jade's in bed. (laughs) (laughs) Jade's in bed. Do you guys have any other husband? I don't get it, or kid? I don't get it. Uh, Well, like they all just come naturally, you know. But yeah, I I just it's funny. It's just funny the way like I'll be like I'm gonna look nice, and then he'll be oh god, that was at the wedding. That was at the wedding, Lauren. I almost want you to describe his outfits at the wedding. I get there, we get there, and first. It's going to get too personal. I can't. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I'm like, guys, I, he wears his tux, of course, the night of the wedding. But then I brought so many different nice outfits. You know, I brought one for the rehearsal dinner. And then I brought a couple just for, like, us going to dinner in Rome together. Yeah, you look stuff. so pretty. So did you, You know? Like, you. I love that pink dress. When you go to Italy, you want, like, your... You want to actually curate your suitcase so that you have, like, lots of, like, outfits that you'll, like, really be excited to wear. Um, I tell Jared it's the rehearsal dinner, and he's like, well, I only have – I have jeans, and I can wear jeans, and then my tuxedo blazer. Uh, yeah, okay, this seems like an issue where, where like, you need – there were, there were three dinners. There's a welcome dinner, rehearsal dinner, and a, he knew and a wedding. That there was jeans a and a blazer is Lauren. a PTA meeting outfit. Lauren, he only, the like, only pants <laughs> that he brought besides jeans – were his tux pants. And he knew that oh, there was a rehearsal There's just dinner. so many good options. Like, I'm seeing how hot people can look in, like, like oh. houndstooth, well-fitted trousers. So cute. He I had don't know. His... Like a black turtleneck. I'm telling you, it's a mansion with, like, just horrible tile and carpet in it. He brought... Yeah, I mean, that's a good, good comparison. He did bring gray... He got gray pants. But this is what he does. He'll bring gray pants... And a brown he'll bring shirt. A tuxedo. And then he'll bring jeans. As if like there's anything to mix and match. He had okay, so this nothing is to put on top brain, of him maybe. besides this- his tuxedo t- blazer. That was all he <laughs> goes, Well, we don't he goes, I don't have a suit. And I'm like, You don't you don't have a suit. Where, what happened to the suits a, from the Bachelorette? Well, they never fit him How well. Does he they not should have be a suit? Burned. How did he go to a Those rose ceremony? Burned. 
They're too small. They're, they're so big, small. Probably. And then they're like, oh. oh, they're just, they were never fitted to his body, Lauren. They were, they were small, but never fitted to his body. And like the only thing I've ever liked a formal wear on him has been his tuxedo. So he just can't put an outfit. So he just throws things in and doesn't think about the outfits. He which thinks is- that jeans are formal, which jeans can look nice. Okay. In 2008. But- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actively covering my eyes right now because I like can't yeah, endure this. Lauren can't even. Lauren was literally I, like, Ashley, can you get him to go back to the room and put something together? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is time to take a break and talk about my favorite type of grass in the world. <laughs> Dad, dad, yes. <laughs> I have no other intro, no other good segue to this because I could talk about dad grass all day, and you guys know that I'm so obsessed with it. And I feel like I've run out of clever ideas to like just segue into it. But if you don't know what dad grass is, it's CBD, not THC, and it makes you feel mellow without like the mind screwiness of feeling high. Mm-hmm. I love dad grass because they are one of the only companies that. I know of that makes CBD in the form of a joint. So I get to smoke a joint in my house and I love the act of smoking a joint, but not feel high. Exactly. And it looks I, good. I don't know. It's like A plus B equals C. It's like you're either on the bandwagon or you're not. If you've never tried it, you need to. It just makes you lighten up. You can chill out before a big meeting. Um, it's basically like it's my version of a glass of wine and I'm obsessed. All dad grass products are federally legal for ages 18 and older, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. So go to dadgrass.com slash get it to check out their products. And right now, dad grass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash get it. Go to dadgrass.com slash get it for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash get it. This is hilarious as, as, cause you guys are, have all been in relationships for a while. So it's like, how does one as a woman in a hetero relationship, like change her man's style? Mm. Like, is there, are there tips and tricks? It's like, do you, do you have to slowly, slowly introduce? Cause I feel like this is something a lot of women go through. Like, what is, what is the way to do this? I think you got to find like a nice pair of, or nice shoe, a nice pair of pants, a nice jacket, and then get them feeling really good and confident and then they're like you don't need more of those and i'm like you know what you could do with those and then just kind of slowly integrate it and then also reward them with like a blow job or get them in an <laughs> outfit and then when you go to a party i would text everyone at the party but them and say hey compliment so and so subtly about this and then they go out and all of a sudden they're getting noticed by like 10 people and then it's like they're like dogs i feel dude like. actually Good you can plan. do that you can do that with audrey's test mass text to all the audrey's uh, workers there yeah employees yeah. and then and then jared will be like oh yeah people like my new pants <laughs> tanner's tanner's too, <laughs> he's too <laughs> smart for that he would know i'm like messaged people Damn. <laughs> Tanner would like, what do you say tanner about me know. why is everyone complimenting me <laughs> yeah, <he would>. <laughs> <laughs> that's so oh, true that's so funny okay well i well I, speaking of kind of fashion to go yeah. off of this this was in my notes oh, wait. two weeks ago. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is me. What? This is doing the <laughs> Ashley thing. I'm interrupting. Lauren, Lauren, Hunter doesn't wear ties to black tie events. He's made this a theme over the past couple of weddings we've been to. How do you feel about that? I never notice. I literally never notice. Really? Um, but he wears, I think he it's almost those... like a little like I'm above everyone else. I don't need to tie. <laughs> no, it's because he likes those collars that don't have a collar. He likes those shirts that don't have a collar. Um, I like. Black. I don't. I think ties are kind of two thousand eight. Yeah. See, see they're ties not necessary to be formal. Like he wears like cool pattern tuxes and stuff that you don't really need. I like bow ties. Mm-hmm. Bow I like bow cool. ties. Yeah. yeah, I like bow ties. I would love him to wear bow ties. on a man. Oh, I mm. prefer like a velvet prefer- oversized Tom yeah. Ford black bow tie. Yeah, I think Jared I, looks way hotter in a bow tie. Oh, excuse me. Also, because Jared has a very nice jawline, very sharp, and that yeah. accentuates yes. it. But yeah. if Hunter put on a tie really tight, it would accentuate not the best part of his face. And I love you. It, I'm sorry. Do, do you think the bow tie, also for me, it's a little Chippendale-y. Could be. <laughs> yeah. Could like, be. maybe there's some... I think that's why I like it. <laughs> Subtle hints. hints to sexuality. Okay. Lauren, I'm sorry. I cut you off. So it's go okay. ahead. This what is probably going to mean nothing to anyone anyway. No, you know how much we love your item. No, this is not. You always this say good. this, and then this it ends up being like something from a philosophy. No, no, no. This is, <laughs> this, well, this ain't it, ladies. Um, it, <laughs> this ain't it. 
how much did Kourtney Kardashian get paid to have a fucking fashion week, a boohoo fashion week? Probably a lot of money. That's a boohoo I'm... fashion so week. So she like she's a had her own collection boohoo. for yeah. boohoo or something. And then yeah. did a fashion show. It was show. like sustainable, right? And then she got a lot of shit because like it's from a fast fashion company. Exactly. And that just doesn't make sense. That's well, what if it's I was sustainable, saying. then is it, then it can just, you know. <clears throat> I didn't know it was sustainable. I thought it was just... She was like their sustainable ambassador. I can't speak on this. I actually don't know much about it. I was going to say... In my head, from what I know, I'm like, well, it doesn't make sense if they're still making fast fashion and like pick up. But then isn't it like biodegradable if it's like sustainable? I don't know. I was just thinking about Kim like reaming into her for probably doing a Boohoo Fashion Week thing. Oh, do you just think her association with Boo? Her association with Boo. No. While I don't she, think like, that's, I think, no, I think if you're a celebrity and you're getting paid a lot of money, like, obviously, there's some people that can't afford to turn it down. I guess well, so. She See? can afford to take, yeah. probably turn it down. However, I mean, like, the who the knows? check was probably so good that it was like, I'll take the backfire. But yeah, she's got kids to think about. She that. could honestly go to any fashion brand, though, and probably make a collection. Let's be real. Yeah. Without like, yeah. it didn't have to be she didn't she could have been like oh that's cool right. but i'm gonna like search other options if yeah yeah right. but is it because boohoo is boohoo or do you think that like because if she went to abercrombie which abercrombie is like technically fast fashion but it's got less of a um, stigma around it yeah i just i don't know i don't think abercrombie needs the celebrity endorsement really but does not who always loves collabs yeah mm-hmm. they do they love their collabs Anyway, um, that was it. See, it wasn't fucking Aristotle. It over wasn't. Here. This one wasn't Aristotle, Lauren, and it's okay. What I do have is a talking point that I feel like we can all talk about, and I'm excited Ooh. about it. And Lauren, it was Lauren, my I don't get it extraordinaire from the weekend. Ooh. First, I have to go downstairs for one minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me one Child. minute. Give me one minute. I Are have, you fucking have, kidding me? You're going to tease something like that and then be like, I have to go? <laughs> And on that note, Jade, this is what we deal with on the reg. <laughs> um, wait, Jade, I miss you so much. Are you are you still keeping up with the with the show? Yeah, no, I watched uh, Bachelor in Paradise, the premiere the other day. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna watch yeah. it tomorrow. Watch this last season of Bachelor. Yeah, we watch it. Yeah. Does Emmy understand that you and Dad met on that show? Kind of. She, we talk about, we've, she knows, she knows how we met. Like we've talked about it and we, t- we tell her, you know, like you were on the show, like when you were a baby, yeah. you were there, so you got to see yeah. how mommy and daddy met and all this stuff. So she kind of understands. It's funny too, because like trying to tell, um, especially Emmy now, but Brooks a little bit too, how, like what I do for a job, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So when they're like, what do you say? So I, I, I try to, I try to explain it. Cause I'm like. The other day we were talking about something and I was like, well, yeah, because you were on my phone and people know who you are or something mm-hmm. like that. And she was like, what? Yeah. So it, but they're always like, mom, why are you on your phone? So I have to kind of like explain, well, this, this is what mommy is, does this for is a living. Office. And, yeah. yeah. Right. Like I'm yeah. working right now. I feel like a lot of kids in like Emmy's class or whatever, all are working from their computer or phone, you know? So it's kind of easier to explain. Maybe it's like, oh yeah, my mom also works from a phone. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's funny though, but she kind of understands it. And then, um, I think it's because I can't remember if, it was, if we were out and somebody knew who she was and she was kind of like, how does that person know who I am? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, that's so gnarly. That yeah. is so weird. How do you feel with people like knowing who Emmy is like out in public? Like no one's ever been weird. You haven't had it. Have you had any sort of weird instances like a guy on a plane being like, sit next to me? <laughs> 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 Nothing mm. weird, but it is like, it is a little concerning and scary at times. You know, I feel like mm-hmm. our kids seen. You know, our lives are public and you want, you know, as a parent, you anyone wanna... could be like, Hey, Emmy, I know your mom. Yeah. Oh, cool. See, yeah. I don't even like yeah. the trend of putting your kids' names on their backpacks or their lunch boxes. I've I'm like, I like don't that. want, oh, is that a yeah. trend? Yes. It's Ooh. a trend. Like to put your kids as like names and those like, um, varsity letters on their it's backpacks. It's always been a safety hazard to do that. I don't know why they're still doing that. I don't know. Yeah. Because a stranger could be like, Amanda, yeah. come here. And then, and then if Amanda's like, Oh, maybe he knows yeah, me. Yeah. And they're and like, I know your mom. Me and daddy like they told yeah. me to pick you up today so yeah. i just like i just like that's what freaks me out the most you know so i think we always ask especially emmy now like for consent to put her on our instagram Wait, that's, oh, that's amazing good. jade but that's so progressive well thank you because i do like want to respect them and it's like there may be a point where she's like mom i don't want this anymore yeah. and i'm gonna have to i'm gonna respect that because she's her own her own right. person and i don't want her to feel like 
like right. I'm monetizing off my kids because that feels a lot gross. of child actors I feel like feel that way where they're like I didn't want to be a part yeah. of that yeah I always whatever it is and it's so fascinating because it's like whoa you know yeah I always am very aware of not trying to make sure like make sure I'm not projecting any of my like goals onto her you know because mm-hmm. I don't that's yeah. not it's not her life you know that's not what she gets to choose her own whatever she wants yeah. to be yeah. so I'm always like I want to make sure I'm not like because you hear all those horror stories and I don't ever want my kids to have insecurities or you know yeah like, yeah complexes totally. from That's my amazing. choices so yeah she'll get angsty wow. around you know 10 and she'll like ugh, get away from it right. you know so <laughs> oh my god so i'm funny. so scared of that oh no i feel like you guys are so close like she may i feel like you're just gonna be close for ebbs yeah maybe <laughs> she's pretty she's pretty independent i feel like she i don't know she is she's a leo so she's yeah oh she's yeah. Leo. i love a fire sign mm-hmm. i'm a fire sign yeah i'm so independent my parents are like are you coming home for thanksgiving i'm like i don't know i'd rather go to acapulco <laughs> <laughs> i'm like that's probably so heartbreaking i know them. that probably is very sad anyways ashley's anyways. back and i'm die. i've been dying to know what, what the hell is i don't get it is okay the suspense is building Let's it's probably so oven. bad. Is that what you went downstairs for? If this is about I'm, like ham or some plant based shit, I'm gonna be so mad. Why would it be about plant based shit? I don't know. Sometimes you like go through phases where you're like, I'm eating this. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lauren and I, we cannot get drunk when you want to. When we want to get drunk, I we, explain. Have more. we it, talked about elaborate. this before? Have we talked about um, it? No, I, I think, think we, so. I don't know. 200 okay, episodes, so we probably talked about it. The, the, like, at a place where you would normally get drunk, let's just say a club, a party, a, a wedding. wedding. Yeah. A wedding, which is the only thing we do. Um, mm-hmm. There's so much adrenaline and, like, kind of I don't think it's adrenaline, babe. Babe, babe. Hey, babe? Yeah, I no. think it is. <laughs> babe. Well, for me, I think it is. Like, you got the adrenaline and your, your body's kind of, like, cycling through the alcohol and you're not, it's not getting to your head. And then you're just getting full and nauseous basically from drinking. So you just feel it like right when the buzz hits and then it's done. Wait, are you saying that you guys are trying? I'm to actively yeah. trying to get working. drunk. Yeah. And nothing is happening. It never I works. Think I, I think I know because this is why all three of us are so close because you know that I don't also don't like drinking and you guys have always made me feel seen for that reason. Yeah. I think I, I have a theory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. The three of us love fucking eating. Yeah. <laughs> and we eat too much. We don't I highly it. doubt any of us are drinking on a stomach. And when we eat, if we see a free roll of bread there, yeah, we'd gone. probably beeline for it. And I bet the booze is just being fucking <laughs> And so Naz may have cracked the code. She may have cracked it's the fucking probably code. probably because <laughs> when we end up, when we want to get drunk, it's at a wedding where there's like Where we overeat the hors d'oeuvres. Where we eat everything yeah. because it's free food. And <laughs> you know, I don't say exactly. no to free food. At cocktail exactly. hour, we're only eating, we're not drinking the cocktails. Yes. You know? Yes, exactly. I'm That's like, it. I'm literally, I'm not even paying attention to the person talking to me. I am looking around for the person with the tray. Right, that yeah. is priority yeah. mission number one. And I'm hope and I, and when they see me, I'm like, come back here first. Yeah. And it's like, no wonder I'm not wasted. I was telling Jared the other day, I was like, it's unfortunate that like we sit down and we have like this great meal before we're supposed to go dance because then I'm full. I'm not feeling my hottest because my belly is extended. Mm. And mm-hmm, then... Mm-hmm. And then um, I also can't get drunk because I'm so full. Wait, that's such a good idea. Maybe whenever I get married, it'll be like hors d'oeuvres and snacks before the ceremony. So no one's sitting there hungry and then party and then everyone sits down. And he said that would be that. weird, but I'm not sure. I don't think that's weird. You could serve alcohol before the ceremony like they did at my wedding and everyone's wasted when you're walking down the aisle. Oh my God, Jade, your wedding? Everybody was wasted. I don't know if people know this, but I I was a producer on Jade's wedding. And Jade, your wedding was the most stunning. Like my Pinterest version of Enchanted Forest. Like you were just such a vision. It was so much fun. So much fun. I don't know. Even just like getting ready in the room. But everyone was hammered. 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 I mean... 
They they served alcohol for two hours before the wedding even started, so everybody was wasted. I'm pretty sure nobody even remembered oh, me yeah. walking down. The I aisle. remember everyone in the, like, the hotel bar before even that was served. So it was like everyone's hotel bar, and then it was like the cocktails, and then it was the mm-hmm. wedding, and then it was a cocktail hour, and then yeah, yeah. So maybe that's you know what people so should funny? do. You know what my memory is of of getting ready in that room now, with you, that's Jade? An idea. I was like. I was really obviously into Kim Kardashian as I always yeah. have been, but like that was what year was it again? This I'm was so 2016. 2016. And Jade had the veil of all veils. Yeah. And I was like, I have to get a, an iconic photo of Jade in this veil. Do you remember? I still and have we like photo. spread it out. Yeah. And the photo, uh-huh. and I was so proud of myself. I was like, this is so Instagram worthy. <laughs> like, like, I would want someone to do this for me, you know? And yep. it'd be like, yeah. spread it out perfectly. And I'm like, this is your Kim K moment. It was. I remember we had the photo out and we were like trying to recreate it. Yeah. Oh, it was so I good. love the Every picture everything. from that wedding is insane. Stanley, gorgeous. Whoever well, doesn't have a veil is really like losing out on an opportunity you have to be dramatic. To. If yeah. you think you don't want a veil, still you'll you'll still want one. Like yeah. I thought I didn't want one, you know, mm-hmm. but you have like you have to. Does have any did any of you, Ashley or Jade and Lauren, would you want to? Have any of you guys worn the veil over your face? So Maura you did that. that. I wanted to talk about this because Maura I, did it. Ashley, you didn't I do it. I actually would want to do that, I think. You I didn't. Think I'm shocked you didn't. I think it would work for Naz for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, for me. I'm shocked you didn't either, Ashley, because it's very like old school. I was shocked I think, at myself. I was shocked at myself <laughs> um, when I was, I guess like while trying on the dress and the veil and stuff, they were like, are you going to do that? Like they were, they, I feel like I felt them being like, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. And then I was like, yeah, I guess not, not going to do it. Not a big deal. I never really thought of it. And then... But the pictures of you walking down the aisle smiling is really good to see. Yeah. It, yeah. But yours wasn't and as... We're so happy. Like, Morris was, like, a kind of a gothic feel. Yeah. And so she had the gothic moment of walking down the aisle where, like, face was like, ooh, it's a ghost. Like, Maura was going down. It was a stone, <laughs> ooh, a, a small stone chapel. You know a what I mean? Though, yeah. And it was yeah. dark. And, and it's very Italian. It was so Italian. And it really, that, yeah. really worked for her dress and the theme of the wedding. And then I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sad I didn't do it. And then Jared was like, I'm glad you didn't do it. That would it's not more pressure for, sense for Jared. Jared. And Jared Island. was just bawling. Aww. And he, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. So cute. I love it. Jade, you, did, did you? Did you? Know? No, no, I didn't. Yeah. But I don't know. My, my veil didn't have, like, a small piece to go over. Mm-hmm. Mine was mine was my, mine was like fifteen Jade feet was long. Also televised, so I'm they sure would they have like, never they let would have fucking never, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they would have. They never even cut my you. veil, they because it was supposed to be like twenty feet long, and I remember Carrie cut like five feet off, no. and I gasped. Yeah, they cut <gasps> I know. My veil. I was oh no, I but it was still so yeah. epic. It was so like, long and amazing. Were you nervous that it was televised? Well, it wasn't live, so no, it wasn't live. Yeah. But I guess there was like an element to it that made it a little bit more nerve wracking. But totally, once you get up there, you just like I don't know, it all like fades away. You know, you really don't think about it. So yeah, yeah. I remember Tanner being really funny. <laughs> Did Probably he, like, say something funny during. I'm that? sure. Someone... I'm sure he had some kind of joke. Yeah, in there. there were so many eligible men at that fucking wedding <laughs> I, know. I know you guys there were so many Talk hookups at my that. wedding yeah oh facts, my god so many hookups facts. oh you my had god a lot there's of like future bachelors options. you had bachelor upon bachelor and bachelor yeah. that was like the what that was my favorite bachelor wedding ever yeah like you know that was like filmed so wild uh well so cool. I, wow, I thought that we were going to focus so much more on wedding drunkness it's hilarious but you just cracked the code yeah, I guess so that now was we it. Have no, now I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> no, but it's but so, so funny because you're you're I'm so just right. like you guys, and I, I know you you guys are just like me too. And I'm like, well, I f- none of my friends are eating, and I'm eating everything that's free around, and I'm not wasted. But, yeah, different priorities. Uh, but what I did realize, um, I was trying to – I was also cracking the code here. I did have – I did survive until 1 a.m., which is oh, crazy for me to do, is to be up dancing till 1 <laughs> a.m. So crazy. And it was because, one, there was, like, music that kept me going. Two, I switched into pajamas. Three, um, uh, Did you have an espresso I had, martini? I had to for Mora. Mm-hmm. And four, <laughs> it was because I took a tequila shot, which I've never done in my entire existence. And Wait, I've never, ever taken tequila shot in my entire life. 
Yeah. I, That's how you know Lauren left paradise day two. Day two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and apparently, uh, and Hunter crazy. was like, that's why you lasted. It's the, it's the happiness. It was the happiness of the tequila that made you keep going. So uh, maybe I'm going to start tequila taking girl tequila now? shots. No, I thought I was into tequila, tequila. And then I had very traumatic moments after the fact. Everybody will have a traumatic moment with tequila. Am I right? Of course. James? Oh, yeah. I mean, I I've tequila. had a traumatic moment with every kind of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. One sec. I need to go back for... I have to say that this... Is, I, I have a hole in, in Naz's theory. Okay. So why is it that when Jared and I go to dinner, if I get, like, two drinks at dinner, it's just the two of us, I'll be like, <laughs> and you're cute. I know, because you're you're focused more on that buzz because you're just an intimate just the two of you but during that buzz at a wedding you're talking and looking at people and you're being your mouth is getting dry and you're making small talk your adrenaline's more and your adrenaline's going you're not like really savoring you have to be like more on you're not relaxed exactly you're not savoring the warm feelings yeah your nervous system's like at it's like on exactly then then is it the nervous system and just the sense that you need to be alert, or is it the actual food? Mm. Could be both. Could be both. That's a great theory. Make sure. Mm. Yeah, it could be you're metabolizing it better, yeah. faster. Yeah. Like you were saying, I think you were saying that now. It's like you metabolize it faster. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. You're t- I also know, like, if you're sitting at a dim lit restaurant with a guy and you have like wine in your yeah. hand, there's just something more, I don't know. There's, so, if there's like an easiness yeah. and more of like uh, an accessibility. Especially if the buzz, conversation is stimulating. I don't know. That's for, like for me, like if Tanner and I, and I go to dinner and I have a couple drinks, I'm like you. I'm like yeah. that too. I'm like, oh, this I, That's my favorite I feel like part. giddy yeah. again. Yeah. But yeah. 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 if we're having great conversation, then it like enhances it. But if you're at a wedding, you're not like just sitting down one-on-one with somebody. I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 no, no, no. I, I so agree with that. Okay, I have another couple I don't get it too. If you guys don't, yeah. Okay, I have an I don't get it. Um, well, it's actually Jade's I don't get it, and that's people over exaggerating things on on social media as far as like their reactions to things. Oh, you explain, yeah. Jade. No, so all these new TikTok stars, right? That are like gaining major. There's this girl I follow. I'm just gonna say her name. Her name is Ab, uh, Abby Hebert, and she's really cute. She's got a husband. They got a baby. I think she's pregnant again. But all their TikToks like that go viral. They're just so over expressive. Like everything's like, ah! you know, like oh my god. Ew. Like I think I constant. know who you're talking about. Yeah. Like what is that? What is why is that a trend on TikTok where people have to like act like when something's funny, it's like ten times funnier, and their faces get all like. I don't know, over expressive. I don't know what I'm talking hate about. It. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Because it's like I like in my soul cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I hate all TikTok behavior. I it, none of it really makes sense to me. Like the talking really fast, and I've had to do this, you know, like for jobs. So I'm not. I'm. I'm acknowledging that this is like me hypocritical, but I'm also a human, and I am annoyed mm-hmm, by it, and mm-hmm. I have done it. But it's just like. No one's speaking in complete sentences. It's all fragments. It's like, okay, so then I went down the street and there was like a little cute flower pot and you got to get the bread. Yeah, and, totally and, leave. Yes. and it's like, it's annoying. Yes. And it is honestly an art form to say an entire story in a minute, 30 seconds. I don't know how people fit it in. Do you think, think that they speed that up their voice insane. on those things? Oh, like with an app or yeah. something? I The weirdest thing that I just, I'm sorry, I just find it so creepy is when people are just, with their mouth closed, looking at the screen, and there's a sad song playing, and it's just text over oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like I'm watching a silent film yeah. that you made. Just say what just you were saying. You don't the need text. the voiceover. Are you How embarrassed? Are you? Oh, yeah. Naz. It's so weird. That it's gets so... the clap for the day. Weird. It's weird. It's, it is weird. I, I know. I'm like, this is taking forever. You could have just spoke this in two seconds, but it's not as dramatic. Yeah, but it's shit people like. So you know, I'm not gonna knock what people like. It's just something I can't, I can't do. Is that just the millennial in us? Like we just don't relate anymore. Are we just older. Oh my I God. think so. I think these are like younger. And I think what you were saying, the over expressiveness. It's like I don't know. And now I think my biggest qualm with TikTok is that everyone around me, the way they begin their sentences is, I saw this video on TikTok, and they'll be like, and now. 
we're putting NyQuil on chicken or whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like, I'm like, is that person certified? Is that no. person certified? They're like, oh, tonight it's a full moon. So, and you guys know I'm very spiritual. So my friend was like, it's a full moon. And I saw this like ceremony on TikTok. I go, okay, by who? By who? And they're like, oh, this 17 year old in Connecticut. I go, do yeah. you think she knows how to fucking summon? summon, summon like, so, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just me. And I think it's cool that anyone can say anything. I just think you need to be extremely conscious and wary of, of who is saying stuff and how much you believe it. Right. Do you know that Gen Z thinks that we're nerd bombers because they think that we like post things on Instagram to entertain them? I saw this whole thing. You it's did just, that theory. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, they think they're so funny they're and like, cool. Like, they think they're trying to be me. Because they, yeah. they think it's so cool. It's like, no, it's just what brings us joy is like showing yeah, our that's, first PSL I will, of the season. I think I, I'm happy to roast myself uh-huh. and millennial shit too. Because it's not like we're free of this. I think millennials do a lot of dumb shit too. Yeah. Right. Like what's shit that we do? I don't know. Like I post the sunset all the time. It's like, why the fuck am I doing that? We all know what the sun looks but like. But also to Jade being like, oh yeah, the overexpressive things, like the p- kids will be like, I'm going to call them kids. They'll be like, oh my God, stop. And then cover their mouth. Like, I can't. And then they'll cover their mouth. <laughs> and then it's like, gorgeous. And then I just, and it's like, oh my God, what the fuck? Are, what is this ending the story going to be? And they're like, I've got orange shoes. And then they cover their mouth. And I'm like, <laughs> I hate this. Lord. The way that you just pinpointed the silliest yet I don't know, constant thing. Con- they're constantly covering their mouth after a sentence. Oh my it's too much. How do you guys feel with the having to keep up with the latest shit as someone? It's a because it's semi attached to my livelihood too. Like as a host, I have to adapt. I have to know how stuff works. I I hate being on TikTok. I have a social media manager, and I have it literally because it's like your LinkedIn now. Yeah. Like for what I do, and it's annoying. How are, how do you guys manage adapting to that stuff and like doing shit that doesn't feel authentic, but you know is going to work, or do you just not do it? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I do it. <laughs> we but we, at each other we like, also oh, started doing it recently, um, and we've been trying to grind at the TikTok thing. We have a social media manager as well, and I tell her with TikTok, I'm like, you know this more than I do. You, like, let me know what's trending and what people think is funny and if they think this is funny. Because what I don't like about TikTok – well, I'm not shitting on TikTok either because Lauren and Lizzie send me the funniest shit ever. Like, I laugh harder at TikTok than I ever do at Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's way more compelling and interesting I, to, yeah. to watch TikTok than it is. But it's so unpredictable as to what will do well. Like, there's just no <laughs> science behind it. I know it's going to probably do well on Instagram. Um, but on TikTok, like, one of some of my favorites will get nothing. And then some of, like, the things that took us two seconds to do will get millions of views yeah 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 i don't know my point of view is like pretty cynical like i feel instagram is dying and i feel like you have to get on tiktok and as much as like i've been like a grandma about it and like refuse like i was like i will never get on tiktok like i'm not changing it's like you almost honestly for this sort of job you have to and it's like you have to embrace the suck and do it and like i don't know change i don't know you have to kind of look at it in like a way of like change is opportunity so if we're not changing with the time it's we're missing out on opportunity but it's also yeah. like it like i said it hurts my soul like mm-hmm. it's just like mm-hmm. <sighs> same yeah producer andrea has uh, a speculation definitely not a fact but a speculation and she might be onto something she says tiktok she has major speculation comma but tiktok uses facial recognition as part of its algorithm maybe oh, yeah. it recognizes bigger facial expressions more i mean that's such a good theory because yeah. if your face is in it they'll promote that's the wow. only way that basic couple probably is doing well maybe is like for her being like, oh, babe let's go to target yeah With oh yeah big Gosh. mouth yeah Gosh. interesting interesting stuff that's um all right, well, wrapping this up, you guys look like little babies who have babies. You look like your 16 year olds over there. <laughs> like, you really look like your teenagers who are just like, I'm, I'm going to take a screenshot of this just because 
I'm laughing because you're right. <laughs> yeah. They look like Maya, Maya and Anna on Maya and Anna. 15, like yes. about to get on AIM. Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, you guys look great. <clears throat> All right. Well, we love you guys. Thanks for listening. Okay. Love you. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you. I don't know. Podcast.